IT, telecommunications, technology is our future. And any incoming government needs to see it as that. What do I mean by that? They need to design policies for this sector that tax success, not potential. The whole economy is moving online. You have a quarter of a trillion dollar economy that's completely going online. Digitizing on the back of the smartphone. The discussions that happen between the telcos, the tech companies and the government, they form the basis of fairly everything that we're doing in Pakistan. Uh, for us, technology uh, availability and the device availability is the backbone of our uh, business. Whenever we are on the cusp of something big, like uh, these days it's uh, auction of 5G, the industry has to come together. منفرد بات اس کانفرنس کی سمٹ کی پاکستان موبائل سمٹ کی ہے وہ یہ ہے کہ اس میں ایک ہی چھت تلے آج آپ کو گورنمنٹ ریگولیٹر موبائل آپریٹرز تیتیس موبائل فون مینوفیکچر کمپنیوں کی جو نمائندہ باڈی ہے پاکستان موبائل فون ایسوسییشن وہ پھر اس کے علاوہ پورا ایکو سسٹم جس میں فن ٹیک آپریٹرز ڈیجیٹل انکلوژن کے حوالے سے سسٹینیبلٹی کے حوالے سے جو چیمپینز ہیں جو تھاٹ لیڈرز ہیں وہ ایک ہی چھت تلے جمع ہیں ایوری بڈی سیز دا پوٹینشیل دا گورنمنٹ سیز دا پوٹینشیل آف انکریزنگ دا ٹیکس نیٹ ان اے ویری میننگ فل وے پرائیویٹ سیکٹر سیز اے پوٹینشیل ان گروئنگ دیئر بزنسز ان اسکیلنگ ود اے ویری لو کاسٹ بیکاز یو ہیو اے ڈیجیٹل فٹ پرنٹ دا پالیسی میکرز ایوری بڈی کنورجز ون سم تھنگ از موونگ سو کوکلی اینڈ از کلیئرلی ان دا نیشنل انٹرسٹ آئی تھنک دا گڈ تھنگ اباؤٹ ٹو ڈے از دیٹ ایف یو کاسٹ یور گلانس اکراس دا روم you can see pretty much all members of the ecosystem. Um, you know, as Pakistanis, we don't do enough listening, we do more talking. And I think it's forums like this where one should come to really listen to what the other side has to say. Uh, if you do that honestly and sincerely, there's much to be learned. I think a very fascinating thing for me that, and which I found uh, very, um, you know, heartening, was when the, the minister was on stage and also the PT chairman, they were very upfront about some of the things that they feel are uh, you know required for the industry and they acknowledge that uh, that they should have happened and uh, the good thing was they are bullish about them happening now which could be the the r and d that needs to go into handset manufacturing also uh, in terms of how potentially future spectrum uh, would could be allocated for for telcos to make sure that the overall infrastructure uh, for telcos can can be enhanced and keeping them technology neutral sabse badi baat ye hai ki exports agar ye government 8% kar deti hai to hum inshallah agle 2 se 3 saal mein pakistan mobile export jo hai ye taqriban 15 billion dollar ki le jayenge which is just a start When any corporate sector would want to invest so big, they would want to see the return on those investments also. And when you have an ecosystem which isn't ready, but all your policy frameworks sort of advocate that they are, the reality still remains that the corporate entities see things a little differently. I'm coming from a place where even in our tier one cities, I struggle to get 3G connections sometime, right? My captain and my customer sometimes, especially in sort of, you know, far, far, far reaching areas, I struggle to even get a 3G connection. We have not fully leveraged the 4G infrastructure that we have. Um, if we are to leapfrog, which is important because that's where the world is going, we, we have to ensure that the components to make that transition successful are also put into place. And to summarize, 5G is an enabler of great things, but in isolation it will not be able to bring the revolution that we, that we feel uh, you know, is, is, we should be tapping at this point in time. I do think uh, that we're in the right place in this discussion, but it needs to be very consciously and very unapologetically driven in the right direction. دوسری ایک چیز آئی تھنک جو بڑی امپورٹنٹ جو میں آپ سے شیئر کرنا چاہتا ہوں وہ یہ ہے کہ ہم نے اس میں انڈسٹری اکیڈیمیا لنکیج کو ایک بڑی خاص امپورٹنس دی ہے نسٹ یہاں موجود ہے نسٹ کے اسٹوڈنٹس یہاں موجود ہیں اور فائیو جی کے حوالے سے جو انہوں نے ریسرچ کی ہے وہ انڈسٹری کو شو کیس کر رہے ہیں پاکستان اینڈ وی ریئلی کاؤنٹ 
that we need to make Pakistan a success. And now the industry is not just the telecom industry and the regulator, it has gone way beyond that. You have digital services providers who are coming up with great products and services, they get impacted. So definitely when there is a new advent of technology happening, everyone should get together, but also for knowledge sharing. Moving forward, it would be uh, quite beneficial to focus more on the impact of the first summit. Uh, take forward the discussions and not just you know leave it, leave them over here and then we prepare for the next summit next year take the discussions forward take the actions forward and then curate the next summit based on these actions and and show what impact has the first one made and when you have that clear vision whatever bumps on the road that come ahead if you've got your eyes on the prize you continue on right and that brings me to the other thing which is building the right level of resilience puri duniya mein businesses mein challenges aate hain और जो कंपनी उन चैलेंजेस में भाग जाती हैं वो कभी सस्टेन वैसे ही नहीं कर पाती बट अगर आपको लॉन्ग टर्म सोचना है आपको लॉन्ग टर्म ग्रोथ देखनी है तो फिर आपको सस्टेन करना पड़ता है और आपको खड़े रहना पड़ता है और हालात का मुकाबला किया हमने भी किया गवर्नमेंट ने भी भरपूर साथ दिया तो अलहमदिल्ला चीज़ें आर ऑन द बैक टू नॉर्मल ट्रैक में